Can you hear the rain pouring all around me? I have some verses to read that should brighten our outlook. Listen to Titus chapter 2 verses 11 through 13. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. What are you looking for? We all have hopes and dreams. We all have desires that are attached to our lives here in this world. But if we belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, if He is our Savior, these verses tell us we should be looking for that blessed hope and for His glorious appearing. Did you know He is coming soon? The Bible tells us that Jesus is coming to take His bride to be with Him for all eternity. And beyond anything else that we hope or dream for, we should be hoping for His return. We should be yearning to meet Him face to face. The news is full of distressing uh, things that are occurring throughout the world. And yet the Bible tells us that God has not destined us for the wrath to come. He is preparing to pour out a tribulation on this earth, unlike anything known to mankind. And yet for the church, for the bride of Christ, we can hope in Christ's return. We can hope in His uh, rapturing us to be with Him for all eternity. So my prayer for you today is, if you know the Lord, and yet you find yourself distracted by the things of this world, which I very much personally get distracted by. My prayer for us is that we will fix our eyes on looking for that blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our Savior. And for those of you who do not know Christ as your Savior, my prayer is that today you will place your faith in Him so that when He returns, you will be part of His bride and He will take you to be with Him as He takes all of His bride to forever be with Him.